This video is going to show you how to locate the image for an object in a convex mirror. So I've got the object to the left, that's going to be the light source, and I've got this convex mirror. So this is kind of the outside of a, a shiny ball, basically. It's a spherical mirror, which means that the focus is halfway between the center and the edge of the mirror. Um, it is a negative mirror because the focus is on the inside of the mirror, or where the light doesn't belong. So for this approximation, we're going to use this vertical dotted line to approximate the light surface. Whenever any of our rays hits that vertical dotted line, that's going to be the reflection surface for our approximation. The distance between the object and the mirror, that's still S. Okay, ray number one, parallel to the principal axis and reflected through the focus. So I'm going to draw it from the tip of the object, parallel to the axis until it hits my dotted line. And then I'm going to aim to the focus and draw a long ray. There you go go in both directions. So I got a virtual on the right and I got a real ray on the left where the light bounces. All right, ray number two. So I got rid of that ray just to end up some of the, get rid of some of the clutter. Ray number two is reflected off the vertex. So from the tip of the object down to the vertex. And now I'm gonna have a reflection that's gonna be the same angle. So it's the um, uh, law of reflection. The angle is going to be the same, so I'll look at it and get the angle to be the same on this case. Notice I'm carrying it on both sides, the real side on the left and the virtual side on the right. Now at this point, the two rays should cross that you've drawn so far, so you can actually see where the tip of the image is going to be where they cross, but let's keep going. So next, let's get rid of these rays and start over with a clean uh, piece of paper. So I'm going to do from the object's tip through the center, so the tip, and I'll draw a ray going to the center. The idea is that it'll bounce back, it's normal to the surface, so it bounces back without uh, reflecting anywhere. And then finally, the fourth ray, again, getting rid of all the others so you can see clearly what's going on. For the fourth ray, it's going to be the reverse of the first ray, so it's going to be through the focus, parallel to the principal axis. But really, on this particular mirror, it's going to aim to the focus until it hits the mirror, and then it's going to go parallel. So I'll aim towards the focus, and then where it hits the mirror, that's where it's going to go parallel. Now you can find the image wherever two more of the rays cross. So in this case, there's the image. Its distance is marked, um, it's S prime. And since the object's tip is where all the rays came from, where they cross is the image's tip. So you can see where the image is. Um, you can also see in this case that the image is on the virtual side, so it's virtual. It's also upright and it's smaller than the original. Now if I do all my rays together, the same color, your paper would look something like this. And so these are all the rays kind of drawn together.